hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be answering some of the most i guess the most frequently asked questions on traveling to nigeria in 2022 so in case you're thinking about coming to nigeria and you have questions about the travel protocols whether it be payment issue when exactly to do your test issue keep watching this video because i'm pretty sure most of your answers are going to be answered please please before you drop any questions in the comment section below please just ensure to watch the whole video because i may have covered that particular question in my video if you repeat a question that i've already answered i'm not going to respond to it so that could be an indication that you should actually watch the video i will also try within i guess 24 to 48 hours of uploading this video to actually put a timestamp whereby i'm going to um, put specifically which question was asked and at what time point it was asked so that you can easily navigate to that particular point of the video if you know you don't want to like watch everything if you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join this amazing community also don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you're watching this video actually i'm going to interject and talk a little bit here about thumbsing up you guys you need to thumbs up on my videos like the more you thumbs up the more i'm encouraged that okay you guys like this video you want me to keep creating if i see less thumbs like it just makes me feel like you don't really like my content and it doesn't really inspire me to create more content like that for you so the more you thumbs up the more i will create that sort of content for you guys yeah so thumbs up So let's jump straight into the Q&A, right? So here is the Q&A. I actually asked um, on both my YouTube community tab and also on the Travel to Ninja Instagram page. We actually post a question on there um, and I'm going to go through those first. So the question I said, um, the question I posed right on the Travel to Ninja was that, Funke is going to film a Frequency Act question segment on her channel on Nigeria's travel protocols. Drop any questions you think um, or you think should be featured or that you have, right? So we are going to get straight into those questions now. First, actually, comment, not really a question, comes from Valerie A. B. Um, F. Kitchen. She says, not a question, but something I've learned that might help others. Print everything. I know it's not sustainable, but it will save you a headache, right? Might not save the planet, but it'll save you a headache. Yes, I think it's important to print documentation because you might just meet an official that asks, like, you know, I want a printed document. And it's just easy for you to ensure, it's just easy for you to have it in case you don't have data, you know, print your COVID, put, um, your COVID test results, print your QR code, just prints. Printing is good. Next question underscore hthr underscore says how do you extend a 30-day visa stamp to 45 days official advice is you have to go to the visa office after 56 days but i don't want to stay that long can i go before the 30 days is over or do i have to wait until after that is there an extra charge for 15 days and if not when do you have to start paying i have a lot of questions about this thank you this page is a lifeline, right? So with regard to, you know, those on a visa coming to Nigeria, never ever overstay your 30 day, um, 30 day sort of stamp um, allowance or 30 day visa, right? Always try and go to the immigration office before it expires. Do not wait. I don't know, it says go after 56 days. Do not go after 30 days. After 30 days, they're gonna have a fine to give you. Um, I'm not sure about the specific cost, but a few people have mentioned on the travel to Niger that yes, it's not free. If you extend for more than 30 days, you're going to have to pay a fee. I believe the last price I saw was around 15,000 or so. It could be more or less. I'm not sure, but you definitely have to pay and definitely go before, um, the 30 day, um, sort of duration has expired. Go before then. Laja 453, he says, since the UK has stopped pre-departure tests for fully vaccinated individuals, that's true, when is Nigeria going to stop their citizens for endless tests of day two, then day seven, then departure tests? Why can't the government team see the Nigerian 
see that Nigerians coming fully vaccinated should not do day two tests anymore. Okay, so he's basically asking when um, Nigeria is going to stop, you know, requiring all this testing. Um, yes, all this testing requirements. When is, are they going to stop? T basically abolish it, right? I personally don't know. I don't have any insights on that. Um, you know, I guess on you know, being a devil's advocate, right? I think our health system perhaps is not that maybe it's not equipped to to deal with given our population size right if there was a huge up as in a huge catastrophe basically and maybe that's why they just been a little bit careful um but i personally don't see them continuing this by december this year unless another variant comes up again that is really affecting us to nigeria but you know when and if that happens Make sure you're following Trap to Nigeria on Instagram because it will be shared on there first and of course after here on the YouTube page. Um, Natasia Craig says, Hello Funke, please, I'm in America for the fertility reasons, but I have to exit within six months and I'm not done. Can you please advise on how to extend my stay? I have a five year visa. Okay, this is not about traveling to Nigeria, but she shared this question under the um, sort of, so I'll, I'll talk about it. Um, first of all, I am actually not aware of the, you know, if one can extend um, one's U.S. visa because the U.S. typically requires that you don't stay longer than six months if you're visiting, right? Um, and I think the best thing to actually do is try and get in touch with the U.S. Embassy in Nigeria and maybe, you know, see if you can you know, go through someone to get some information, right? Um, but I know they're pretty strict with this. Like, if you guys actually have any advice or any input on this, because I know it'll be so useful for her, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you. Skid.o, he says this. Hello, Funke. If one is preparing to travel to Nigeria and tested positive after 14 days isolation and recovery, if one collected the recovery exempt certificate, is that acceptable by the NCDC online portal to generate a QR code. So a lot of people have asked me this question actually with regard to, you know, sometimes you test positive, you've recovered, but there's still remnants, right, sometimes of the COVID, um, you know, the COVID virus. So it's still detectable. So you might still even be, I think it's even possible for you to, you know, even though you've recovered, for you to even be positive, keep testing positive up to even three months or so after, or even six months. I'm not sure about that, but so he's asking whether or not this certificate is valid, um, can be used to travel to Nigeria. No, it cannot. The Nigerian government has stipulated that only a PCR um, test is valid and the airline will, I doubt the airline will let you fly with the certificate. It might change in the future, but for now, that's the case. Prince on the Skaragra, he said, what do you need to travel from the USA to Nigeria? What I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually link um, a video where I detail exactly what you need step by step. But pretty much, you know, you need to do a 48 hour PCR test. You need to register on the portal. Um, you need to pay for your day two or day seven or both, depending on um, whether you're fully vaccinated or unvaccinated. But check out that video. I'm going to post it right there and you can check out the information, what you need. Maxine H95, she shares, she asks, um, is yellow fever certificate necessary to travel from the UK to Lagos? I get this question a lot, right? I think the yellow fever certificate is one of those things that sometimes airlines check, sometimes they don't, right? Some airlines will refuse to actually board you before you, as in your flight to Nigeria, if you don't have a yellow fever certificate. I would advise people to get it, but over the years, it's just like, it's not one of those strict requirements that all airlines ask for, but I've heard that the U.S. airlines tend to be the ones that ask for it a lot. But on the other hand, to be safe, just get it if you can. Or call your airline. Call your airline if it's a requirement, and they will be the best judge because if they say it's fine, then they'll let you on the flight, which is the most important thing. Um, I'm actually not sure whether or not um, they actually check it when you land in Nigeria. Like if you recently come to Nigeria as a foreigner on a visa, have they checked your... Um, yellow fever certificate they check it like let me know in the comment section below um logic 12 it says hi funke just a quick question please if a nigerian visits the uk right and gets fully vaccinated in the uk what proof do they require to show when returning to nigeria 
when a visitor is vaccinated in the UK, all they issue is a small slip showing the name of the vaccine, batch number and date of vaccine. It does not show your name and date of birth. Can this slip be used as evidence of being vaccinated when traveling to Nigeria? I am not sure about that, whether it can be. I think, I believe in the UK, you can apply to get a COVID pass. And this COVID pass seems to be the standard with regard to proof of vaccination when traveling, right? For people that have vaccinated in the UK. So check that out, you know, NHS COVID pass. I'll link it down below also, so you can sort of see what the process is on that. Um, and if you guys out there have any other inputs to add to this point, please share it in the comment section below. Okay, so I'm going to also, I know a few people ask me questions on other platforms like YouTube right so i am going to go through those a few questions on there all right so um actually this was on instagram um kaya roju it said please sassy do we still book COVID tests fully paid before traveling to nigeria right so he's asking whether or not the requirement to actually pay for your test prior to boarding your flight to nigeria is still there yes you still need to do this this is mandatory um ba this is never new 71 on Instagram. He asked this. He said, please, I need your advice coming to Nigeria next month. Um, do I need to be fully vaccinated before visiting Nigeria? No, you do not need to be fully vaccinated. Unlike our neighbors like Ghana, you have to be. Nigeria does not have that requirement. Um, he also asked this question. Is it true um, people have to do the days, I think days two and day seven test after arriving in Nigeria? If it is true that you have to do day two and day seven tests after you arrive in Nigeria, if you've not been vaccinated or you've been partially vaccinated, right? So this is something you have to do if you haven't been fully vaccinated. But if you've been fully vaccinated, you only have to do the day two tests. All right. So Grace Dewar on the community page, she asked this. Um, hi, Sassy. Please, I have a question. I am fully vaccinated. My question is, if I arrived in Nigeria on a Saturday, right, which day should I do my day two test? Is it Sunday or Monday? Please, I need an urgent answer. Thanks, right? A lot of people make mistakes with regards to when exactly they have to do their day two test and day seven test because for other countries, it's different the, the way it's been calculated. For Nigeria, day two um day the day you arrive in the country is day one right not day zero like for example in the uk it's day one which means that you need to do your test in nigeria on the second day for day two right and for day seven it's the you know from day one is the day you arrive just count it up to day seven that is when you need to do your COVID test and it's really important that you do your COVID test on those dates because I'm not sure you're aware or not, but Nigeria is actually fining people that have not done their test and they have to go to mobile court and they have to pay upwards of 500,000 Naira fine for not doing their COVID test. I'll link that video where I share that information up there so you can definitely check that out. Convenient God, he asked this question or she, I'm not sure. Hi, how do I make payments for the in-country COVID-19 test if I don't have a Naira account? Can I pay in with my US account? So payment has been a huge issue for many people with regard to trying to pay on the Nigerian International Travel Portal. Like if you had issues with payment, like let me know in the comment section below. So with regard to payment, actually, um, we actually asked the Travel to Nigeria community um, what their advice was with regard to people having payment issues, right? Um, this is some of the feedback. Um, Caramel Delight 3347 says, have someone pay, for, pay in Nigeria using their account. Try calling your US bank before using the portal sometimes work, right? Imaseleb comments, leaves a comment, call your bank to allow the transaction to go through. You need to verify that you made these purchases. Also tell them that you want your car to be allowed to make purchases in Africa. This also happened to me also, and I had to call. It worked right after, right? So other comments, try using a Nigerian card, call your bank, use a Naira debit card, call your bank. So the theme is that try and get someone that has a Naira card to pay for you, or call your bank to let them know that you're making this transaction and they should allow it to go through, right? So th that's like really the main um, 
sort of ways to sort of like so, so fix that issue, right? So guys, that is it. It was really quick, you know, sharp and everything. Um, if you have questions that I have not answered already, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I will do my utmost best to right away, you know, like in the next, you know, hour, every question that you ask, I'm going to answer it if I've not answered it already. And in the next day, I'll obviously try and keep answering it at least for the next two, three days. So if I get your questions in, in the next two, three days after I post this video and I haven't answered it in the video, I will definitely answer your question if I have the power to, right? Yes, guys. Um, I really hope this video has been super useful. If you're coming to Nigeria, don't forget to get my, well, two books. I have two books now. I have my Lagos um, travel guide, which is for you to actually navigate beautiful restaurants, beautiful places to visit, cultural history in Lagos. It's an incredible book. It's available on Amazon. If you want to navigate Lagos Airport, you know, you've heard crazy things about Lagos Airport, just want to know what to expect, you want to be armed with information, you can now get 40% off my Lagos, the Lagos Airport Handbook ebook, right? So click down below in the description box to get two of those books. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate your love and support. We're now over, what, 53,000 subscribers? You guys made that happen. But the aim is to get to 100,000, right? So you know what? If you made it to the end of this video, leave a comment and say, Sassy, we're making to 100,000. We're making it. We are making it to 100,000 together. Yes, we are making it to 100,000 together. It's a mouthful, right? But I'll actually leave the comments in the description box so you can copy and paste it too if you want to, yeah? <laughs> Thanks again for your love and support and I'll see you on my next video. Bye. Bye.